Hello everyone, it's the William Red Fox and welcome to my world. We're actually going to start this video by quickly jumping into some time lapses. Today we're actually going to be working on a few things and it was actually quite good that we actually got that wandering trader wherever he may have gone now. I think he may have just left the world. Yep, it looks like he's gone. So we actually got some sand and we actually got some dripstone. I believe I put the dripstone away somewhere. Where is it gone? There it is. So now we can use that to actually make a lava farm, which is great, but I do think it might just be quicker just to take from the nether at this point, but we can still make one in the future when we actually complete what today's plan is. So today, I've actually been gaining quite a lot of material between now and then. I believe we're actually up by 173 days since we last did a recording. I'm not quite sure, I'd have to go back and check that. But in that time, we've actually gained quite a lot of material. And by that, I mean quite a lot. I'm not even sure how many of these chests are filled with cobblestone, but pretty much I would imagine all of them by now. And not only that, we've got more in the nether. By that, I mean this. So we actually been spending most of the time here at the pigling farm. I even had to get two extra more pigmen in there just so we could get through this a little bit quicker because it was taking forever since we spent a lot of time at the gold farm collecting up gold nuggets, turning that into gold blocks, bringing it down here and then converting it back into the ingots. So I actually made this. Now I do apologize. I'll try and keep those blinking lights off just in case that causes any problems. This is pretty much a trash can for anything that was not needed. And then over here we kept all, well, a full chest of ender pearls, full chest of string, and then over here we had the primary blocks that I wanted to keep. We nearly have a full chest of nether bricks, a lot of leather, nearly a full chest of block of quartz, a full chest of spectral arrows, and then all of these are pretty much full with gravel. This is where we're going to get most of the dirt from. Now I believe only a little bit in this chest, and then these were just left over. Now with the number of chests that I've made here, as well as what I plan to make over at the base, just for a smelter, which we're going to be doing next. But as you can see as we're coming back now we have pretty much yeah these are non-existent in this area well there's one over there we can get that one in just a minute but yeah so we're gonna make some more smelters so that we can actually gain quite a bit of that cobblestone into stone and also i feel like as a byproduct of just being stood near here while actually at the mining of this this is not the game like infested with cats um i don't know why i don't know where they spawned or how they even spawned given that there's not many villagers around in the world but yeah they've been wandering around the place also while i'm here i'm probably gonna get a pickaxe from one of the villagers back up in the main world and try and get down to this lava lake a little bit easier just simply because i feel like i can just take the lava from here and use that for the furnace array well i call it a furnace array it's just going to be a rudimentary furnace with a couple hoppers bed with a load of bits of lava i think it's just going to be the easiest way where we're just getting the main island set up so let's get that done okay so we got a pathway going down here now all i have to do is fill in all of these kits and uh yeah what i'm planning on doing is keeping all them chests filled with lava because i believe that would be enough then to actually smell all of the stone in and then have a little bit left over so i don't have to do it again so let's get the painful work out of the way and then we can start getting the smells going okay so this is all now set up so all we have to do is put the hoppers in place once they're in place we can uh yeah, just smell all this cobblestone into actual stone. That was a bit of a weird bit of lag spike there. Not sure what happened there. But hey, yeah, so all I have to do, put these hoppers on and uh, yeah, get to it. And yes, I am thoroughly out of wood in the nether now. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to find another source. So I've just been getting more cobblestone and I've noticed there is a, another villager here. So let's take a look. Where is he? Where, um, can't see him. Where did the leads end? Ah, uh, oh, hmm. oh, there he is. Oh, we got some cake. Oh, 
this is amazing oh, what's attacking me oh oh well that doesn't matter because he is literally just over here so let's just go get that sword and i just hit the wandering trader oh that's that's not great. Okay, so I was able to get my belongings back. And uh, yeah, I got some oak saplings and an acacia sapling, which is good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get much from the acacia sapling, but at least we now got oak trees again. Okay, so after spending a good few days now on actually collecting all this material, I have moved it over to the end of this platform where the portal is now just sitting waiting to be turned on. And I've got all these torches as well that I turned from the wood, as well as some dirt there. Chests upon chests of dirt, I believe it starts around here where the stone kicks in, yeah. And then at the end here we've got some cobblestone, oh he actually made me jump for a second there. But yeah, we've got some cobblestone here that we are going to use to make a base plate so we can actually start building this island. Now. First, we're going to get this base plate out of the way. So I'm going to need a couple bits of cobblestone and trying to work out the positioning of this build. So I actually should have thought I need a bucket of water to actually drop down the portal so I can put the base plate in place so that I don't fall off the end of the world. Um, I'm going to have to go all the way back and get that. That's a thousand blocks that direction. Well, this is going to be fun. Finally, we're starting to get to the end of this now. All I need to do now is get the bucket. I might actually grab some food as well. That took a lot out of me. Now that I think about it, I actually think I've got a chest full of... Yeah, there we are. So let's top up on them we'll keep that uh i don't need the sticks on me i don't know why i've got them oh yeah that would be from making torches so now let's grab a bucket so i can actually grab three pieces from there grab the bucket fill up the bucket and uh, yeah now it's time for the long walk back oh also while i'm here i actually lost the villagers in here i don't know how it happened but yeah, they're now gone. So I'm going to have to redo that so I can try and get Silk Touch. Now the reason I'm going to need Silk Touch is to turn that dirt into grass. But for now, let's get walking. Okay, so that took forever. So why don't we actually get this flint and steel? So let's use this flint and steel, work out where we're going to put the island and see how things go. That baby hoglin is sitting right on top of that pole. Um, It's not going to cause a problem. I can't even hit the thing. Oh, there we go. Off you get. Nope. How did he survive that? Huh. Oh well, let's get this lit. There we are. And uh, let's travel through, see what we're working with. And uh, yeah, let's get an island on there. Oh, okay. What is that achievement? Uh, how do I bring up the achievements again? Uh, ah, there we are. Where was that one? No, no. Where is it? I can't seem to uh, find out where that one was. I have no idea where that one was. Where's that achievement? I'll be in here. Oh, there it is. Using the portal to travel seven kilometers in overworld. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because it was eight times the distance in which you travel. I traveled 1,000, so that's 8,000 blocks in the overworld. Wow, that's actually quite far. I didn't even think of that. So I'm actually back in Never now because I have forgotten that I need a crafting table. So I'm going all the way back over there just to go get one. This is turning to be painful. I really should have thought this through.
So after falling off of there, I think it's probably best that rather than doing time lapses, that I focus on actually getting this done rather than how it looks. So I'm going to keep you updated with regular updates on how the build progress is going and just get this over and done with. Hopefully we can get this finished for this week. So the island is now completed. Now I did say I was just going to do regular updates, but it was just taking so long. If I kept stopping and starting, it would have just taken even longer. Now to get the grass over here, I used a silk touch. I can never say that. Silk touch shovel to actually get the grass now i got the silk touch from a librarian and the shovel from a blacksmith added them together and then it was simple enough just to bring a block over and let it grow now i don't think i'm going to build islands like this again for this world just simply because it took so long and it would have been so much easier to do if i could fly so yeah i think next time if i'm going to be building islands to put things on i'm just going to do some sort of disc or like a circle something like that something nice and simple but now the only thing left to do is to remove that down there so i actually kept this because i didn't know if i was going to build into the island at all or if i was going to build something down here so hopefully in the future we can actually use it if not it's just going to be a nice little thing to look underneath and who knows i might be able to use it as like a platform for an elytra to go down to those villages not too sure but for now all that's left is to get rid of this platform i may need a new pickaxe though so i think i might run back just quickly grab one and then get started With that we have now finished we've actually got this island up and running and i'm actually glad to see that this is over i believe we started this on day 100 it's now day 527 and it looks like the sun is going down as well oh no it's only just going up so we just finished it on a good day now in the next couple of episodes i think i'm going to build simplistic islands just so that they're a little bit easier to get done in a quicker period and hopefully we can get some builds done around here now what i plan to do is actually start moving over the previous farms over to this area and just making them look a lot nicer so i think each island will be an episode i haven't forgotten about the fact that i've got the punishment that needs to be done now for anyone who has forgotten in regards to this world i had to spawn in a turtle egg thinking that that was the only way to make a decent gold farm for this world oh so i said i would set up a punishment that would need to be completed so hopefully in the next episode we can start working on that but to find out what that is we'll have to watch the next episode so i'll see you then